Hello from snowy Virginia. We got an unexpected snowstorm and maybe this could have overwhelmed me, but no longer with this blog post, five ways to beat overwhelm. <laughs> Here we go. Feeling overwhelmed is a major roadblock, a roadblock to our creativity, our happiness, our ability to connect in relationships. Most of us are probably aware that when we feel overwhelmed, we're not as productive, happy, or fun to be around. We may not understand the neurological reason for this, but feeling overwhelmed leads to procrastination and us snapping at our loved ones. Here are five ways to take charge of overwhelm. One, schedule. Get out your calendar and write down what you're doing when. The more specific you are, the more overwhelmed, the less overwhelmed you'll feel. Let me repeat that. The more specific you are with your calendar, the more you write down, the more detail you give, the less overwhelmed you'll feel. What kinds of things can you set schedule aside from the obvious work hours, carpools, and doctor's appointments? I'd like you to schedule your exercise, write down when you're eating your meals, write down when and where you're going shopping, when you're getting into bed, and date nights. Schedule it and then stick to that schedule. Set it and forget it, I say. Some think this is neurotic and they resist scheduling, but I challenge you to try. In reality, you'll feel calmer, look at that wind, and more in control of your life. If you check on my blog post, I've included a scheduling worksheet that can get you started. Number two step to, over, to banish overwhelm. Eliminate distractions. Now that you have that schedule, honor it by doing what's on your schedule and eliminating distractions. For example, when it's time for me to sit and write my blog posts, I put my phone on airplane mode, pop in some earbuds, and go. I also choose my environment carefully. I don't try to write while my kids are home jumping on the trampoline. In fact, I often leave the house to work as my brain can come up with lots of reasons why I should interrupt my work if I'm at home. The dishwasher needs to be emptied, the clothes need to be changed in the washing machine, a spot on the ceiling that I've never noticed before suddenly needs to be cleaned. <laughs> you get it. Be aware of possible distractions and set yourself up for success. Number three, minimize choices. This is a big one. Our brain is a skilled information gatherer and there's lots of information out there for us to gather. The leading cause of stress or overwhelm, unused information. All those books that you wanna read but you haven't, all those podcasts that you've listened to and taken notes on, that unused information sits in your brain and you're like, oh, I wanna do something with it. Combat that in a couple ways. First, start paying attention to where you're taking in information that you don't need. Cancel magazines, turn off the TV, stop browsing online or in stores. Minimize your life. You know what works for you. You know which clothes are comfortable and suit your body. You know which foods taste good to you and help your body perform. You have enough gadgets in your kitchen. You do not need another wooden spoon. Consciously and deliberately choose what you're feeding your brain. Check out my blog post because I, I also include a worksheet there to help you dig deeper in what, how you're feeding your brain and what kind of influences you're taking in. The second step to minimizing choices is get out a piece of paper and list all the decisions you make on a weekly basis. What to wear, what to eat, where to get gas, what to exercise, really brainstorm, go at it. Look at your list and make decisions ahead of time. What will you eat for breakfast? What will you wear on weekdays? There's so many pieces of information for our brain to take in. Make decisions now to free up your brain. It is no coincidence that Steve Jobs and Einstein both chose to wear the, wear the same thing every day. They cleaned it, it was clean clothes, but they'd wear, I think Einstein wore a white, sh white shirt, tie, and trouser pants, same style every single day. Instead of standing in the closet staring, they used their mental power elsewhere. Do the same thing with as many of the decisions on your list as you can. How about your meals? Choose to eat the same thing for breakfast each morning. What's that? You think you'll be bored? I'm sorry, since when is it food's job to entertain you? Food is for fuel. Speaking of fuel, choose one gas station and always go there instead of driving around looking for the best price. The difference in cost is minimal when you take into consideration the cost in time and mental energy. Step four to beat overwhelm, eliminate distrust. Now that you've made these decisions, trust your decisions. Don't go back on them, stand by them. If you choose to enroll your daughter in dance lessons at ABC Studio, but you find out your neighbors enrolled her daughter at XYZ Studio, 
tough. Choose to think, well, that's nice, and stick with your choice. We've been trained to distrust ourselves and our intuition. Reverse this by making choices and sticking with them. Decisions lead to action, and any step forward is a step in the right direction. So what if you find out Studio ABC is not for your daughter after two months? You've already you've made a choice, you've moved forward, you've eliminated some overwhelm, and now you have some information to go forward to choose the best studio for her. Choose to learn from your decisions and trust your choices. As a certified personal trainer and weight loss coach, many clients ask me what they should eat for breakfast. Unless they're eating chocolate croissants with jelly smeared on top, my answer truly is whatever works for you. Listen to your body. You know your body more than I know my body. Lean into trusting yourself. What gives you energy? What fills you up in the morning? What can you make, eat, and prepare with your schedule and your family? We look to others to tell us what to do, thinking we don't know what's best for us, but we know what's best for us. Build confidence in yourself by making decisions and taking action. Overwhelm disappears when we take action. Step number five, banishing that overwhelm, eliminate excuses. Own your choices. You didn't exercise? Hmm. Sorry, it's a little windy. My papers are flying. You didn't exercise? Don't tell yourself you didn't exercise because you slept through your alarm or because it was too cold. You didn't exercise because you chose not to. You ate too much last night? Don't tell yourself it was because you had a tough day at work or because your husband bought the kind of ice cream that you love. Why did you eat too much last night? You chose to. You didn't get your work done when you said you did. You would? Don't tell yourself it's because your coworker kept interrupting you or your dog needed a walk or your son wanted to play Legos. You chose not to. The choices we make create our realities. We are overweight because of the choices we have made. We are frazzled because of the choices we make. We are adults and we have control over our days. When we stop making excuses, we feel less overwhelmed. If instead of thinking, I didn't exercise because my son wanted to play Legos, we think, I chose to play Legos with my son instead of exercising. We move from being a victim in our life to being an emotional adult. I don't know about you, but I feel a lot better when I think empowering thoughts instead of pitying ones. Please let me know if you try any of these five steps and how outstanding you feel afterwards because you will feel good, okay? This is what mindfulness-based cognitive coaching is all about. This is why I do it, and this is why I do what I do because I'm allowed to be imperfect and stumble over my words when I'm making a blog post, but it works and I see that there are no external forces getting me to feel a certain way. I am in charge of my thoughts and my thoughts create my feelings. Do I wanna feel overwhelmed? No, I don't. So what can I do to banish overwhelm? Do I coach because I have it on all under control and feel stress-free all the time? Hell no, okay? <laughs> I often feel overwhelmed and I go, back to, I go back to practicing this. Every day is a practice. Start where you are, be kind to yourself, and go get them, warriors. Please make sure you've subscribed to my newsletter and check out my website. I always have some fun deals going on. Bye.